Hello everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. Um yo, like <laughs> he I'm just learning so much like right now during this um this eating lighter process that um I was directed to do and I've been sticking to it. You know, but it's hard. So I'm starting to see I'm a snacky person. Snack, snack, snacky. Snacky makes snackers. I love the snacks. Okay. I don't have no meat in them whatsoever. They got idea of dairy. So it's not really no dairy. Um. So, and one of the things I know about myself is that when I do this type of coming down off of something and just not ingesting it for a while, like cold turkey is the best way for me and I got to have a major motivation. And so my major motivation has been, you know, first off, I was told by spirit I had to do it. Um, and that's just really it. I had the privilege of going to New York this weekend during quarantine and when I tell you this world during quarantine is so different during like pre-quarantine I, I can't even understand what it's going to be like post-quarantine you know but during quarantine what the thing is that people are getting the coronavirus and people are dying age for age for age so there is no they don't in this country yet really have a way of telling people you gonna be safe so we go up I see things like no cash we'll mail you your tolls I think we talked to a toll person twice <laughs> and I, it's never been like that before and coming back, same thing. No cash. We'll mail you your, I guess your bill or whatever. The, you're thinking they're going to pull you over for all kinds of stuff. And they don't want to, these cops don't want to get out their cars to go nowhere near a human being. So I'm very shocked at what I've seen within regards to protests and everything I've seen on social media, everything that I've seen, um, on the internet as far as like news and stuff like that. Um, because I'm not one that watches the news, but I heard a lot about it. I knew these things were happening. Um, I saw a lot of video streams of things happening here in my city, was aware of things happening in other cities and to see the... I, I don't know. I will say this. You know, I live a different life. And so, when you live a life according to spirit, I'm looking at the time, um, things flow differently for you. And when I tell you, it's like, like, the vibration was just like, people were like, People were, number one, forgetting their mask at the rest stops as we were on the highway. They're forgetting their mask going into the stores. And, like, you knew we had to go in here. You got to go get your mask out the car. Well, I forgot the mask. This is a couple walking into the rest stop, you know, where the bathrooms are and everything along the highway. So he runs back to get her mask for her. The, 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 even a vibe of, like, doors right people walking in and out of doors people are like okay i'm not getting that close like you can see this jumping off people but then like i'm not straying from my family um it was just such a different vibe right and so it's so funny that during this time with me on this cleanse or this process of just lowering down the density of food that I'm putting into my system, 
you know, I was with family and they were like, oh, we thought when you went in there, you were going to get you some chicken sandwich or some fish or something. And I was just like, nope, nuts, fries, hummus. <laughs> I, I didn't do it. And I know, of course, you know, I'm not home, so I'm not controlling, you know, what's been cooked in what oil and all that kind of stuff. I'm aware of that. And I had, like, some breakout issues coming as a result of it. But they've quickly gone down. There's so many different things that are being talked about. But COVID is really sticking. And it's not being talked about as heavily as it was in the beginning. Like, right now, everybody's in a rush, a dead heat to get back to normal life. I done got on here. I don't think I put that on here yet. People are in a rush to get back to um, living a normal life, you know, and with the new constraints that go along with that, which are masks and continual cleaning. Like, we will be living in a very clean world. And I have to say, in a world where it doesn't seem like cops are stopping people for blowing through speed limits. I mean, people clocking 100. People <laughs> just pew, 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 pew. Okay? And I'm like, there is, is it? Like, what? I, but then you get used to the flow. You get used to the vibe. It was so different. And it's so different than what I'm used to. Because as a driver, you know, you're looking for the cops. You know to slow down. You, you know what I mean? Like, you know all that. You know what you need to go play. This was a surreal experience. Now, I need to add on to that, you know. I'm off the phone to everything. <laughs> Every energy that helped this weekend with that flow. So, that probably was the process. But I got to say... I think it was a process for real and like these people are not endangering themselves. I think they're like, you out here on these roads? Well, you go ahead and be on these roads. We're not getting out of these vehicles right here. People at the tolls don't even want to deal with you. <laughs> it is serious right now. And I, I'm not laughing at that because I don't feel it's a funny matter. People are legit dying. And nobody has forgotten that who's living like a real life, who are bumping into friends that are sick, family members that are sick, people that are actually, you know, um, casualties of this actual disease. What? I mean, quarantine life. I wonder what quarantine life is like everywhere. Because I'm telling you, right now, all I see is a push. And I think it's an unreasonable push. But I get it. I still think it's unreasonable. What is the deal? Like, everybody wants to be back outside. They want to be back to normal. Like, and I wonder, like, are people starting new relationships and stuff now? You taking chances. Like, this thing has blown all... I think it's blown so many diseases and stuff out the water because you don't know. You don't know. Oh, we go get them tested. But you don't know you get them tested. You don't know they go outside with what their habits are. Yo, I'm going to be back to talk about this later. But I wanted to come just to do a quick check-in and just give you... The vibe was so different going to New York this time. Um, the last time I was in New York was before quarantine, you know, and um, people were panicking. I mean, it was all over the trains. I have a video on here about that, and I knew that I said, you know, next time I go up there, I'm going to need a car because I just, I hated the actual way, the mode of travel that I was using. And so, God. I'm tell y'all, I'm doing this eating lighter, and I just did um, earlier to, like, earlier late yesterday because it's like technically after one in the morning i did a um turpentine and cast the oil like i took around you know took it down Woo! let me tell you when you don't have much in your body it's still gonna push you know you still rolling 
Rocking and rolling, baby. Rocking and rolling.